the song we sing is not confined to stories of that star, or of the angels hovering by, or wise men from afar. The song we sing goes way beyond his teaching here on earth, for many men have said wise things of great eternal The song we sing portrays more than his dying for my sin. We worship not the crucified, if others we must win. The song we sing does not stop where he rose up from the grave. It does not dwell upon his power, my wretched soul to save. The song we sing goes even past his presence here today. Oh, that we serve a living Lord and daily seek his way. The song we sing will never end, oh, wondrous surety. For we'll be with our Lord to sing for all eternity. that people pressed upon our Lord to hear. By Lake Gennesaret, the word of God, so they drew near. And while our Lord was preaching there, he saw two ships alone. The fishermen had left them thus, their sickly catch to moan. He entered into Simon's ship and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land, and he agreed he should. And Jesus sat down and he taught the people from the craft. And when they left, he then addressed poor Simon from the act. Oh. Fisherman, fisherman of Galilee, you never catch anything from the sea until you do something the master bids. You might as well unhappy be. Oh Simon, why don't you launch out into the deep? Let down your nets for draught. But Simon shrugged, his forehead wore a frown. But master, we have toiled all night and taken nothing in. But if you promise me some fish, forgive my doubting sin. Oh, fisherman, fisherman of Galilee, you'll never catch anything from the sea until you do something the master bids. You might as well unhappy be. And Simon let down all the net, and when they had thus done, So great a catch as could be dreamt, it nearly weighed a ton. Their net it broke, and off they ran for help and fishermen. From off the next boat standing there, they filled both ships right then. And when the ships began to sink, fell Simon to his knees. Depart from me, O Lord, for I have sinned, oh, leave me, please. For he was so astonished, and so were also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, but this was to their shame. Oh, fisherman, fisherman of Galilee, you'll never catch anything from the sea until you do something the master bids. You might as well unhappy be. 
And Jesus said unto them all, Fear not, my fishermen, From henceforth you will drop your nets, And all of you catch men. And now when they had docked their boats, A strange thing happened thus, They promptly forsook all they had, And followed our Jesus. Behold, a sower went forth to sow, but never you see knew where to go, and fell by the way, so the hungry crow could eat them so they wouldn't grow, wouldn't grow, could eat them so they wouldn't grow. Well, some did scatter among the rocks, sing fuddle doddle ducks. Well, some did scatter among the rocks to give some food to the hungry fox, for up they sprang like jack in a box, no worth for a plant or an ox. An ox, no, no worth for a plant or an ox. And when the sun came up that day, sing fuddle dee doddle dee day. And when the sun came up that day, the poor little seeds had withered away, for they'd been scorched by the sun's hot ray, and the root did, did decay, decay, and the root did, did decay. And some of the seeds fell to the thorn, sing fuddle dee doddle dee dorn. And some of the seeds fell to the thorn, and they were all choked up by morn. Their parched appearance is so was scorn, and they wish they'd never been born, been born. And they wish they'd never been born. 
But others fell into the ground, sing fuddly duddly down. But others fell into the ground, the harvest reaped for many a pound. The wondrous secret they had found, and this is the end of our round, our round, and this is the end of our round. He's the rock, amen. 
a foolish man, a very foolish man, but his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down, and the floods came rushing in, and the winds blew, and the winds whoosh. Well, the house it sure caved in, oh hallelujah, here's the rock, here's the rock, amen, amen, oh hallelujah, here's the rock, here's the rock, amen. Oh, he with eyes to see, and he with ears to hear, the moral of this is plain today as it was in yesteryear. The rock is Christ, so build on him, his house it will not fall. He's never fail anybody yet, and he sure he never will. Oh, hallelujah, he's the rock, he's the rock, amen, amen. Oh, hallelujah, he's the rock, he's the rock, amen. If that is what you built on now, your house is bound to fall. It will not stand the stormy blast, and shoot it never will. Oh, hallelujah, he's the rock, he's the rock, amen, amen. Oh, hallelujah, he's the rock, he's the rock, amen. Hallelujah! Teaching the word, preaching the gospel of his kingdom to everyone who heard. Of those who had great illnesses, he healed them every one. But when he saw the growing multitudes, he had great compassion. For they had painted and many had scattered much abroad. As sheep which have no shepherd near to lead them unto their God. And Jesus said to his followers, The prophecy still knew. The harvest truly is most plenteous, but be the laborers few. So pray ye therefore that the Harvest will send forth laborers into his great harvest to reap eternal word. <laughs> Father dear, to be thy son. 
sun thine own. So make me one of thy servants, for I am coming home. When he was yet a great way off, his father saw him come. Compassion overcame him, and he ran to kiss his son. The younger son said to him then, I am thy sinful one. The prodigal, and in thy sight, could ne'er be called thy son. His father said to his servants, Bring forth the robe complete, and put a ring upon his hand, and shoes upon his feet, and bring us to the fatted calf, and keep it, and let's be full merry, for this my dear son was bound and now is free. For he was dead and now is alive, and lost but now is found. The eldest son was in the field, he heard the merry song. He called to one of his servants and asked what these things meant. The servant said, his brother come, explain the merry man. And when he told him that his father had forgiven him, he was so angry that he would not venture to go in. But when his father saw him there, and hence entreated him, the eldest son was jealous, though he still would not give in. These many years I served thee well, and never questioned thee, and I deserved the very things thou never gavest me. Yet soon as this thy younger comes, who lived a life of sin. For him thou killed the fatted calf, fulfill his every whim. The father said unto him then, Son, thou art never mine, and all that I possess in life is more than doubly thine. But it is meet that we should now make merry gladsome sound. Thy brother, who was dead, now lives, was lost, but now is found. For God so loved the, the world, the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world, the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but John the Baptist cried, Prepare the way, ye 
must repent if you are on God's side. For I indeed baptize you now with water, but behold, there cometh one who is mightier still, the prophets have foretold. His very shoes I could not wear, so great this Holy One. He brings a new baptismal power, he is God's only Son. With purifying fire, he will baptize and give his seal. The Holy Ghost, so men may go, his gospel to reveal. Then Jesus came up to St. John, baptize me now, he said. But Master, reconsider this, and me baptize instead. But Jesus said, it must be so, it thus becometh us. The time is ripe, and we must each fulfill our righteousness. Was then St. John obeyed straightway, baptized our Lord right there. The heavens opened up to him, his glory bright to share. His holy eyes ascended to the azure distant sky. A dove flew down and lighted on the Godhead born to die. And lo, a voice from heaven word, the mighty still this is. This is my son, my only son, in whom I am well pleased. Sitting all alone deep in the elephant's ear. The thought occurred while sitting there, I am the only one here. The thought occurred while sitting there, I am the only one here. Ooh, I am the only one here. The thought occurred while sitting there, I am the only one here. I haven't heard a sound in years deep in my hairy bed. The elephant's never raised his trunk, I think he must be dead. The elephant's never raised his trunk, I think he must be dead. Ooh, I think he must be dead. The elephant's never raised his trunk, I think he must be dead. They say there was a great flood once when the elephant washed his ear. It drowned a million inhabitants as they were biting here. Oh, it drowned a million inhabitants as they were biting here. Ooh, as they were biting here. It drowned a million inhabitants as they were biting here. But I don't believe that silly old tale, it makes no sense to me. Why should the elephant likable guy want to get rid of a flea? Why should the elephant likable guy want to get rid of a flea? Ooh, want to get rid of a flea? Why should the elephant likable guy want to get rid of a flea? Ooh, what's that? The elephant. There comes a new theology, and many be who follow it, it is the end of Christianity. Pain has killed my faith in God, why should these things be? Famine, war, and catastrophe, if this God cares for me. God is not dead, my friend, no, no, God is not dead. In so many, many ways, no God 
Be him everywhere. 